well done, you've got your dream job now and you're all excited about your new opportunity and you probably already spent your salary increase that you're going to be getting and now you have to resign. And resigning is never a pleasant experience, but it is something that you have to face up to at some point in your career and in your life. I suppose it's uh, a bit like buying insurance. Uh, and I've managed candidate resignations for nearly 12 years now and I see candidates get more nervous about resigning from their current job than they actually get uh, for a final interview for their dream job. And we get scared for quite a few reasons. Um, we don't want to upset the boss, particularly if we like our boss. Uh, we feel like we might be letting colleagues down or letting a team down. We fear that we might be burning bridges. Uh, we're worried about how our boss might react. Uh, and these are normal fears to have. So turning in your resignation isn't always easy. And even if you hate your job, or you hate your boss, and you can't wait to start the new job, even if you're about to be fired, it can be difficult to resign tactfully. And it's even harder if you love your job. So all these are potentially uncomfortable situations. And so how do we deal uh, with these? How do we make the best of an uncomfortable situation? I actually think that resigning is really about being in the right mindset and then following a very clear process. And I can confidently say that there's definitely a right way to go about it and there are definitely plenty of wrong ways to go about it. So in this video, I'm gonna highlight a couple of do's and don'ts and um, things that you should consider during a resignation process. Firstly, before you submit your resignation to your boss, there's absolutely one mental thing you need to be 100% ready for, and that is making sure that you are prepared to leave if you are asked to leave immediately. You need to be mentally ready to leave immediately. And um, this could come to you as quite a shock, to be honest. Um, you've worked really hard, you've been loyal for 10 years uh, to the same company, uh, and now you've got a new role and you resign, and effectively they march you off the premises immediately and you feel really insulted, and suddenly you, you want to vomit up all the negative thoughts you've been hiding for 10 years on your boss and the colleagues and um, the poor coffee in the, in the uh, kitchen. You will massively regret it later, um, so don't do that. But it starts with being mentally prepared to leave immediately. That may not happen, they may ask you to serve your notice period, in which case that's an entirely different matter. So. Obviously, don't give any indication that you're looking to move on, like clearing your desk and taking photos off the walls and all that, so we want to avoid all that. So the next thing, as soon as you've been offered a job and you've accepted a new job, you've told your recruiter and you've signed a contract, uh, it's time to get a private meeting with your boss, get in their diary so you can hand in your resignation face to face. If there's one rule about resigning, it is that you must do it face to face. Schedule this meeting sooner rather than later so it's not left uh, sort of hanging over you. Um, you don't want to be carrying around this big secret around the office for another couple of weeks. It is extremely uncomfortable. Uh, right, it goes without saying that when you resign from your job, you know, it's actually important to resign um, as tactfully and as proficiently as possible. And you want to do so um, in a way that really reinforces your professional image. Uh, this is really critical, uh, as well as maintaining a good relationship with your employer well into the future, or your, your now ex-employer. Um, and even if you have negative feelings about your job and your boss, you want to leave the employer feeling good about you and your resignation from the company. So a couple of things. Number one, make sure you're mentally ready to resign. We've spoken about that already. Number two, have a printed copy of your resignation letter. There, it's actually quite a standard document, but it is a professional document. There are hundreds of examples online. Make sure you keep it professional. Get a face-to-face, -face, sorry about letters, make sure you print it and sign it, obviously. Um, get that face-to-face -face meeting with your boss. Do not SMS them, do not WhatsApp them, do not drop a resignation letter on HR's desk and do a runner. Um, you can only resign face-to-face, -face. do it like a boss, shall we say. Um, now, when you've got that meeting, when it starts, I highly recommend and advise that you say what you're there to say in the first 10 seconds. Literally say, I'm formally handing my resignation. Say it in the first 10 seconds. Do not ask your boss about their cat or their round of golf or whatever nonsense that, you know, or things that you might be looking to make small talk or break the ice. Your boss is ready. You need to say it straight away. First 10 seconds, just say it and you will actually start feeling better straight away. After that, the meeting can go in any number of routes, okay, from good to bad and some tips here. So keep all communication super positive or at least keep it neutral. Uh, there is nothing to be gained, nothing positive to be gained about uh, being very negative or vengeful if, uh, or spiteful. Um, make sure you thank them for the opportunity, express your gratitude for what you have learned and um, whether it's new skills or experiences, a particular project, always just be, um, thank your boss for the opportunity. Um, 
be prepared to explain tactfully why you're resigning. It might be an amazing opportunity. It might be more money. All of these things are okay. It's okay to say that to your boss. Um, as long as you can explain it tactfully why you're resigning, um, you know, you should be able to handle that. You have to be prepared. Thirdly, um, try to be really sincere about offering to help with the transition process or maybe recruit your replacement. Uh, it sends a really good message that you want to exit professionally and you want to maintain good relationships right up to the last day of employment. Um, and one thing that you need to think about is what uh, if your boss asks you to stay on a little bit longer. So, you know, you need to be um, prepared to think about that. One thing, don't make any promises or commitments there and then. Make sure you take some time to think about it. Okay. Now the sixth area that comes up quite a lot um, or comes up uh, if you are great at what you do is dealing with counter offers. Okay. Now suddenly you've resigned and your boss starts throwing lots of love at you and if resources allow they may well make you a counter offer in the form of a promotion or more money uh, or both. Um, whatever you do, do not accept anything there and then. Give yourself some time to go away and think about it, digest it. Uh, weigh up all your options um, and definitely don't make any decisions on money alone. Um, make sure you think about your long-term career goals, your personal development. Um, can your current company really meet those ambitions? Uh, you know, there's obviously a reason why you're looking out in the first place. Um, and, you know, generally speaking, career growth requires you to push yourself outside of your comfort zone. Uh, and that could be getting, the, you know, a new experience somewhere else. Um, as I said earlier, this is why you're actually looking for a new job in the first place. So be ready to deal with a counter offer. Um, my experience of seeing counter offers come and go is that it sort of looks like uh, hooking up with an ex-girlfriend might be fine for a while, but the same old issues rise up inevitably, and I'm just saying. Um, finally, look, it can be challenging to take a very calm and, and kind of reasoned approach to resigning, uh, particularly being mistreated or underappreciated or underpaid. Um, however, you know, once you've spoken certain words and written in haste, these things come back to haunt you and you never know where a former colleague may pitch up again in your industry. Most industries are very small and who's to say you won't bump into, uh, you know, that horrible boss or that awful colleague in the future. They may well have to act as a reference for you um, when your new employer takes you on board. Um, it's a small world, so just uh, don't do anything you're going to regret. So finally, the real crux of all this is actually getting your mindset right. Be prepared. Keep a lid on the emotions. Resigning is inevitable at some point. Just make sure you're absolutely mentally ready for it.